My plan will boost the economy and improve the mental health of the American populace. I'm going to solve the problem of grammar Nazis. Grammar Nazis do not understand that language evolves. Those that do understand actively oppose the evolution of language. You may think this is a minor problem, but it isn't. It affects most Americans on a daily basis. For example, let's look at the compound word speed limit. Decades ago, the word meant maximum speed. Almost all of us have kept up with the times, and we know that speed limit has come to reflect the minimum speed that we should be driving rather than the maximum not grammar Nazis. They continue piddling along at 35 mph and 40 mile per hour zones, pretending not to know that they are in violation of the modern meeting of speed limit. This reckless behavior slows down traffic and causes traffic jams. In extreme situations, it leads to accidents as traffic struggles to flow around the offending grammar Nazi. As traffic slows, drivers face longer commutes, decreasing productivity in the workplace, and adversely affecting the U.S. economy. If you vote for me, we can foil these grammar Nazis. I am preparing a law that will require states to update all speed limit signs to minimum suggested speed. By taking away grammar Nazi excuses, we will restore traffic to a proper flow, increase productivity, and boost the economy. My plan would further boost the economy by reducing the number of speeding tickets issued. Because traffic signs still say speed limit, grammar Nazi police officers are within their rights to issue tickets and fine decent citizens who are doing nothing more than following the suggested minimum speed. I will also recommend that grammar Nazis be pulled over and their driver's licenses be revoked until they have successfully completed an etymology class and reformed their ways. My name is Paul Paval, and I have approved this message.